In this video, we will learn how to orbit, pan, zoom, and fit all with perspective camera in C Sharp in Unity. I'll put a link in the description on how to pan, zoom, orbit, and fit all using a orthographic camera. This video is doing that using a perspective camera. So to start, I've imported a model of a building into my scene and I've created a plane to act as the ground for that building. So I want to orbit around and zoom and do everything around these models. So what we need for the script is to create an empty ob game object to act as parents for all the buildings and model you want to zoom around and do all the view or camera control around. And I'm going to call that parent or its empty game object for now. We'll call it models parent so I'll, i'm gonna select it and then just reset it so the position would be zero and the rotation and the scale all reset to default and then i'll select my uh, models or everything within the scene that i want to orbit around and in this case it's my buildings and the plane and i'll drag them into the model parent so that the model parent will be the parent game object of those models Similarly, I'll create a parent for the main camera. So I'll right click, create empty, and we'll call it focal point. And I'll make sure I'll reset it as well. And then select the main camera, and I'll reset the main camera. And we'll just change the Z for the main camera to be minus 15. And uh, I'll drag uh, the um, main camera into the focal point, select the focal point, and all we need to do for the focal point is to change the rotation on the X to 90 so that the main camera would be looking down the building like this as if we start with the top view uh, scene. Next, I'll create a script. So in the, under the assets, I'll create a new folder. We'll call it scripts. And inside that folder, I'll create a C sharp file and we'll name it camera control. Once that file is created, I will drag it into the focal point game object so that it's assigned to it. So I'll select it and drag it to the focal point, select the focal point, make sure the script is there, and then double click on the script to open it in Visual Studio. So in, inside the script, I have a public uh, variable called parent model, in, and in the Unity editor, we will drag the parent game object and, and uh, for the models and uh, assign it to it. And I have a, a, a group of private variables that control the zoom and the maximum field of view and the rotation speed, etc. You could adjust those uh, de uh, depending on your need. And then in the update, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll pass a number of if, made, if statements which uh, deter, uh, to check the user input. Uh, so the first uh, block will check if the user uh, hold the left shift key on the keyboard and the middle mouse. Uh, 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 then it will call the camera orbit. It will call the orbit, and you could uh, you could change these inputs to the need uh, to, to to whatever you prefer. And the next block will check if the user hold the left shift key on the keyboard and press F on the keyboard as well. It will call the fit to screen method. And the next block will will uh, check if the user. Uh, hold the middle uh, mouse, uh, which is the scroll button, and doesn't uh, press the shift key on the keyboard, it will get the mouse world first position and then we'll call the pan method. And then the last at uh, the last we'll call the zoom method as well. So the first method, it's the camera orbit. It will get the input X and Y for the mouse movement and will transfer that to vertical input and horizontal input and will rotate the position, uh, sorry, rotate the object to which this script is attached to, which is the focal point to, um, to uh, perform the camera orbit. The next 
bl uh, block here will have the fit to screen method and it needs this method to get the bounding uh, um, of the the bound of the model uh, that we need to uh, zoom fit to and then uh, here it's it, it, it's um, uh, it's the getting the it's we set the field of view to the default field field of view which we we set to 60 uh, over here and uh, it get the bound for using this method and then uh, it get the diagonal uh, dimension of the bound and then it's get the distance from the camera then do the transform position uh, uh, so that the camera or, or the uh, focal point game object would be in a distance and direction that uh, is uh, where the, the model would be fit to the screen. The other method, this is the pan method, uh, which also get the uh, input of the mouse and the world position difference and then transform it so you could pan to the, uh, the to the position of the mouse. And then the other method would be the zoom, uh, which also get the zoom difference and uh, using the mouse uh, position as well, it will trans uh, change the uh, field of view to, um, uh, to make the impact of the zoom in and zoom out as well. And uh, this method is to get perspective, and that's what's the main difference between using the orthographic camera. But with the perspective camera, the difference is when we want to get the world position, uh, we need to use different methods. And this is what it does. This what method, what it does, getting the perspective using ray and plane and ray cast uh, for the perspective uh, world position. So I'm just going to go through the, uh, just to show you the script because you're going to need to copy that. So this is the first block up to here. And the next block would be, this is the next block. And the third block would be, or the last block would be from here up to here. So now if we save and go open the editor, We'll go to the focal point because the script is attached to it and now we have the public uh, parent model here which we just need to drag this pa uh, model's parent into it so i'm gonna save and hit play and i'm just change the resolution to full hd and now if i use the mouse and shift i could pan move orbit around zoom out and zoom in move it a bit and if i want to zoom fit all i press sh shift and f and it zoom fit all thank you please like subscribe and click the notifications button to help me make more videos like this